Greetings and welcome to this Trap Code Tao session. Today we're gonna recreate together this bike chain scene that I created yesterday. I did challenge myself to uh, make this kind of thing and uh, as I made it I realized that uh, some things that you might try want to try to model in Tao it's not always as obvious as it would uh, be in a 3D software for example. But uh, still, there is uh, pretty much anything that you can, you can think of that is possible to do if you just think a little bit outside the box. So um, let me just go through each step and uh, hopefully I can uh, remember how I did it. And uh, hopefully uh, you can learn some new things and a new uh, Tao approach. Uh, it can perhaps uh, trigger in your mind uh, a new way to think about how you use Tao. So let's uh, start by uh, looking at some references. So we're gonna want to look at the uh, keychain. I just I just uh, wrote a bike chain in the search and uh, so basically a, a chain, a, a bike chain, it's like uh, this part, this part with two bolts and then another part in between. We're gonna try to make it as simple as possible. And perhaps we can even use uh, this. Uh, this uh, is exactly the shape that we want. It's a PNG, so we might as well uh, use that. So I'm um, gonna import it in After Effects, and uh, let's bring it in here. And uh, it's black, so maybe we can perhaps trace it. Let's try that. And uh, hmm, there's too many points in there. I don't like it. So uh, we could trace it, but we want to keep the the data for the the light path. Uh, perhaps not very complicated. So let's uh, create a new composition, and uh, we're gonna call that Tao Bike Chain. I'm gonna make it uh, 720p, and let's bring in uh, this over here. Uh, let's make it a guide. And I'm simply going to make a new solid and I'm going to trace uh, that shape onto it. So I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to pick this up. And let's start with this. And let's uh, make another point here. And I'm going to try to make it as basic as possible for the first outline. I'm going to go ahead and really uh, try to keep it bas as basic as I can, but as uh, symmetric as I, as I can. If uh, we don't want to run into issues when we repeat the shape, uh, we want it to be as symmetrical as it can be doesn't need to be, to be perfect, 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 but uh, I will just uh, have it like that. If it was a real project, I would take my time. So this solid, uh, uh, it's almost good. Uh, perhaps maybe a little bit rounder. And <coughs> so this, I can make it my Tau solid, and right away I'm gonna apply Tau to it. And uh, what we have here is our auto, our automatically generated path that we're gonna turn off. And what we have is our mask that is on our solid is generating uh, some uh, extruded path directly. Uh, from this feature, path is from mask. But in our case, and as in most cases, mask is really cool because we can animate animate it and it works. But uh, we're gonna turn this data into light data because we want to have a control over, uh, we want to be able to control the size, the radius independently. So we're gonna check that. And uh, control shift alt L going to create a new spotlight which uh, is going to be called Tau all in caps and I'm going to click OK. Uh, control shift alt N. Uh, 
I mean control shift alt Y to create a new null. I'm gonna make it 3D. I'm gonna just to copy the position and paste it on my light to make sure that it's uh, right at the center. And uh, this I can tell that I will already need to uh, turn the orientation off. So let's get in the right click and transform auto orient and let's set that to off so we don't run into problems. So let's, uh, to prevent any confusion, we're gonna turn off our path from the mask so we don't see it. And we still have our mask here. And uh, let's reveal our mask by hitting M. And I'm gonna copy the mask path here and I'm gonna paste that on, not the null, but on the lights position. So let's do that. And already we can have, we can see that we have a little issue here. When we had the path repeated from the mask, it was com it was perfectly uh, seamlessly closing, but now it's not. So that's one thing that we can perhaps uh, fix by making sure that this here is our first vertex. So let's right click and let's set it as first vertex, this one. And let's copy back our mat, uh, our, our mask and paste that here. So now we have our gap here, which is less of a problem, but still I would rather have it more uh, <coughs> uh, perfect so we can add some segments until we we uh, if we add many of them it will close it but we surely don't want to have the segments as high as that because it's gonna be uh, longer to render so we can perhaps leave it at uh, 200 for the moment and um, make our best to fix it by perhaps just adding another keyframe so it will uh, generate some geometry there more uh, but that might not be the perfect solution as you can see here sometimes uh, there are some things here that doesn't work like you would expect them to but uh, hmm. let's keep our little gap for the moment and we'll see if in the end it's even a problem to us and if it is we'll find a way to fix it later so let's make a camera so we can uh, roll it around and see how it looks from the side so oh it's not it looks like a, a dog bowl but it's not what we want um dog food bowl with the uh, for the food and the water no <coughs> so uh, you don't have a dog if you don't understand this I don't uh, I sound like a dog guy when I say it but I don't even have one myself uh, we want to make this four sides and now we have more of uh, the kind of shape we, we want and we can adjust the uh, chamfer depending on what we want and now we have a uh, kind of uh, where we want to go but not yet let's uh, and let's create a new light and let's call it tau and uh, this one uh, well let's first make it appear so this one we want it uh, like more like a cylinder we want more sides so we can punch in sid 32 Zero thirty-two to make it more uh, more of this kind of shape. So uh, let's bring it right at our zero point, and let's also make sure that uh, the auto orient is set to off. And this is going to be our first bolt. So let's let's hit P, and let's bring that right about right around here. 440 let's say let's create a keyframe here and let's create another one here and let's make this uh, 200 and let's make this minus 200 so we're pushing it back and we're bringing it uh, forward so it's uh, extruding it like uh, like we would uh, want our bolt to be so that's uh, our first bolt and let's uh, make another one 
so add this let's color code it green and uh, usually I would put like tau bolt but since uh, most of the time you need the 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 amount of characters to write as many light commands as you want because the maximum is 32 so you want uh, to keep the names as short as possible so I color code them now let's create a new null let's make this null also green and let's make it 3d and uh, let's make sure that this null is at the same x position as our bolt here and uh, this we can call it bolt and then we can duplicate that copy that make that 32 to uh, make sure they are the same and then we can move this on x uh, and uh, of course we want to make sure that this is attached to that and that this is attached to that and now we can move this uh, right about where we want it to be so uh, that's uh, that's a kind of a few steps towards the direction we want if you want to make a uh, a Tron car uh, motorcycle you're uh, uh, also on the right path um, but we want this to be more uh, like we want to lose this part here maybe or maybe or maybe we want to keep it in I don't know let's see what we can do uh, let's because this has to be thinner obviously so this is perhaps more like we want it with a chamfer of uh, 20 around 20 and uh, let's see let's for the moment turn off our bolt so let's uh, hit double A. I have both of, of them selected and uh, let's make the radius zero. So for the moment they are not shown. And uh, let's see. This will make it. Uh, so we want to make this thinner. So may maybe half. And. Uh, if we do that we fill the holes so that's one way to fix our gap and everything else but as we do that what's happening at the same time is we lose kind of our shape so what's what 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 we can do now uh, and it's not very orthodox I know but we can go back to our mask here and since all we know is that we need our more like a of a curve now we might be able to pull it off by just bringing this further from each other so one two three one two three and then uh, perhaps making sure that these are uh, and uh, I don't know if you see where I'm getting at but once we do that we can copy our mask path and we can paste it back on our first towel light uh, here which has this we can shut it off and paste our new path and now it's more but perhaps what we need to do as well is uh, pull these in One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And bring this, uh, not this, but this. And let's paste that. So we kind of get back to our our shape, our desired uh, kind of shape. That's more like the kind of shape we want. So now we have still these, but it's since we're gonna have our bolts there, it's gonna hide it. So let's get our bolts back to our vision. And oh no, what we can see that's happened now is since we changed the scale ratio, 
it uh, simply did uh, flatten those and uh, if the light command would work then I could like write uh, s uh, y and then do that or something and it would work but I don't think these light commands really really work so what we're gonna do is now this is something that you wouldn't think that you can do actually but you can take the bolt the null that uh, the light is attached to and if we uncheck the the uh, constraint uh, scaling and then we can get back our round shape by setting that to the right number and uh, there might be a, ma a math for that but uh, I'm just gonna eyeball it and around like 30 so let's uh, do the same here and uh, now we can also like make their radius smaller and it's still not not that round I don't know I think it might be more like something like 28 and now um, we can realign them and uh, we kind of have tricked ourselves into getting what we want So we're moving forward for sure. So now we're gonna uh, want to have our base part duplicated and uh, brought forward and back. So this, let's make it uh, purple. And then let's duplicate that. And uh, let's make sure all our keyframes are selected and on the Z we're gonna make this one minus 100 and this one we're gonna make it the same distance but in uh, the positive values so we have something like that maybe more maybe 120 would be it Uh, I can even make another one and uh, this one it's gonna be the middle one so I'm gonna set it back to zero and uh, this one I can bring forward here so if I look at my thing now kind of have something that looks like what we want to have, right? Right. So these are big, 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 big. They are really big. And we can still uh, adjust the amount of segments, whatever. whatever. We know that we're going to want to have this repeated uh, in my example, I did a circle because it's kind of a natural uh, way to, uh, don't get me wrong now, I wouldn't even know how to tell you to uh, make it uh, a real shape of uh, a bike chain for the moment. Uh, I'm just going to show you how I make made, made it around. So let's first uh, duplicate it and not repeat it so if we have it repeated once so the idea is we're gonna have this come and connect here and it's kind of gonna make ourselves a uh, kind of a basic uh, chain shape here see and uh, we can now make these thinner easily we can create new nulls In fact, I'm just going to create one, and that's our last one. I just want to make this one a little bit, a little less. And uh, I'm going to get back into my segments, and uh, I'm going to make it thinner by setting these to 30. 
and that's gonna make our cylinders flat again so we're gonna have to find uh, the right value which is now 17 or something around that and uh, this one in the middle if you want it a little bit a little bit uh, wider we can do that and it's gonna mess around with a little bit uh, the shape on this end like uh, you're gonna want to have to uh, fiddle a little bit so let's pull off and now these are big so if we pull back we're gonna run into this which is usually something that uh, if you don't know what's happening you, you might just think that uh, something is obviously wrong but uh, that means that we have to get in the visibility and we have to uh, make the distance of the fog uh, further and also, when we have big stuff here, the, the, the ambient occlusion is going to start to uh, make little weirdnesses. So we can just make sure that the scale is uh, higher. And uh, that we increase our radius. just gonna put an arbitrary value for the moment and gonna we're gonna set the the final value once we have our scene set up so let's uh, make our round repeated shape so let's make more let's make six and now it's gonna be a, a, a little bit about well all about the math but let's rotate on X no not that would be cool but it's not what we want to do that's not what we want to do but that's what we want to do but now as you can see that it's not gonna be aligned exactly but as we do that we can figure what's the what's the number to put so let's say that the repetition is gonna always be a uh, in relation to the amount of rotation that we give it. So if we want it to be like 10, to find the number it's here, we can assume that uh, 360 degrees, which is a whole circle divided by 10, is going to give us the value that uh, we are looking for. And now we also have to move it uh, on so what we're going to do now is we want to move the whole thing. And uh, are these now connected to something? Let's make this one purple. And uh, let's see. Let's uh, make a, this now is not connected to anything. It's going to be the main, main one. Yeah, nothing is to it. So let's pick up these and let's connect it to the main one. So now we can move that. Is that is there something that's not connected? Oh yeah, these two as well. They need to be connected to that. So now, when we move that, we can uh, we can actually gonna get the right the the right value. And in this case, I think they're a little too fat. that a thing that no you might not want to mess around with that but then again can lead to some pretty fun stuff so basically uh, we have that and uh, 
let's say we want 20 now it's just a matter of saying that so let's pull back and now that's the first repeater uh, let's uh, get to the second repeater and uh, let's set this to zero let's uh, start by repeating it once and uh, rotate on this Z I think I did mm -hmm. something that we might want to do but might not work exactly let's rotate it not on the X but on the uh, that's not what I want to do hmm I want to rotate the whole thing world rotate yeah so let's try let's try something else when I'm not able to do what I want to do I just reverse that so let's repeat it 20 times here and, uh, uh, oh no I hope it's not gonna crash on me let's repeat once here let's space that in there rotate Z that but it's repeated from the second repeater instead of from the first and if I do that yeah so this is what I wanted to do before but I guess that the uh, the order of the repetition is going to matter in this case so um, it was uh, not repeating correctly when I so when it does that I just inverse I, I think of my second repeater as my first repeater and my first repeater as my second repeater so let's mess around with the uh, position Z and yeah if we do that we're gonna have a, a nice uh, repetition pattern circular pattern starting to chug yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna have to 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 turn off uh, I'm gonna set my camera but I'm gonna really uh, turn down the amount of segments just to be able to position it correctly and uh, let's delete the camera so that's where we're starting. Let's create a new cam. Let's make a dolly. And let's zoom out. And let's rotate around. So uh, when you have uh, like your uh, desired composition in place, you will want to uh, perhaps integrate it in a, in a scene uh, in some uh, three uh, three sixty environment with the reflections uh, from pictures you took in real life, or you might want to use those that comes with the uh, trap code Tau. So in this case. I'm gonna just show you something that I have made myself a habit of doing. So there is this uh, uh, trap code the uh, HRI bundles that uh, is a complement of uh, trap code Tao, and uh, I'm gonna 
grab this uh, garage HDR map and I'm gonna just drag it in here these are the exact same one as you would get if you um, come into the uh, material and lighting image based lighting here and uh, if I get the uh, bus garage I'm gonna have this uh, reflection applied to it but I want to see th this environment so I'm gonna bring in this HDRI which is the uh, in the garage and uh, it's like this is the default angle what's yellow is behind us and uh, if I want to change the view in my uh, okay first let's make this into a composition so this is gonna be our reflection and uh, this reflection composition let's bring it inside a new composition which we're gonna make uh, really small like uh, 400 by 200 I'm gonna hit the command all F to uh, re uh, readapt it to this size and then I'm gonna apply a fast blur to it make sure the edge is repeated and I'm gonna crank this number really high So this is going to be our diffused map. So maybe at this point we perhaps need a to crank this up. Perhaps not. And this is our diffuse. So I'm bringing the diffuse here as well. And I can shut these off. So now I'm going to create a new solid. I'm going to call this horizon. I'm going to apply Tau Horizon. And this is going to use, as an image map, it's going to use uh, the reflection. All right, so now we have more kind of the correct angle of light automatically as we set it up by default. Uh, it's set up the same. So, in the reflection on this, we're going to add the um, very, very, very useful skybox from Metal. And that means, that means that we can reorient our camera view. So, let's see what I'm talking about. I'm going to shut this off. I'm going to get back here and uh, I can move around in there. And since this is the reflection and it's also the diffuse, it's going to light the, the scene the right way. So, so now uh, to uh, make sure that we're not confused, let's get in our image and we're going to turn this off and uh, we're going to set this to reflection and we're going to set this to diffused so now we're going to have the right lighting depending on uh, the angle that we have so if I get back in my reflection here and uh, I'm going to lock this so I can access it from my main comp so now if I uh, reorient my camera like uh, this for example I'll get the lighting from this particular angle that I'm in so it will always uh, res respond to uh, like this is the default this is exactly as I would have it from uh, from the built-in uh, reflection but let's see um, What I'm 
trying to say is that there is a rotate environment, uh, but it's just rotate. It's not uh, rotate Y, Z, or uh, X. It's it's kind of not obvious to see uh, where it is, but I'm sure that if uh, I have skybox applied to it, then um, I know that I can change my camera angle. So let's let's select a nice. Uh, let's make it a nice view here so if I have like for example this view around here and I ref hit refresh my uh, my light thing is gonna dynamically uh, respond to to that and I won't have to uh, uh, guess what's the right setting for the orient uh, for the orient uh, to orient it correctly. So now that I've decided that this is good, we can crank the number of segments back up. And uh, we're going to be able to gauge our, uh, our, our ambient occlusion. And we might have some issues here. But uh, basically, That's that's uh, how how I did it. Does it look like the one I did? No, not absolutely not. <laughs> I think I spent a little bit uh, more time on the one I did yesterday, but you can see the the main idea. Uh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put uh, a link to both these uh, comps in the description below this video. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, my little trick to create bike chain model in Trapcode Tao, and uh, a little bit of how I use Skybox Converter to make sure that my reflections are always uh, facing the right directions. So, thank you very much for watching, and uh, see you next time.